Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Terroir and our exciting vineyard here where things are going pretty good. Although the uh, AI is buying up all the land, we have struggled to keep up. Uh, we've also had a very rainy year so far. So our, uh, our wine varieties are getting plenty of little, little bushes on them and uh, we need to trim them back so they will grow up some more. Ah, more rain is not what I would have been hoping for, unfortunately. And um, I want to make sure that we're selling wine here. There we go. And I want to put 420. Oh, 420, man. Woo! There we go. Right there. And come back to our scissors. And cut these back. And cut those back. And cut these back. There we go. Great. Okay, so it's May. Got the oh, another rainy summer coming up on us, unfortunately. Seems like it's the rainy spring. Got rot going on on our uh, fancy things, and it's not the good kind of rot. But we'll. Um, Ah, now we've got the good kind of rot. I don't know that I like that very much. And now it's clear, so everything's going to get overexposed again. Ah, good cloudy. Thank you. I'll take it. Trim these back. Maybe we'll get a little more rain. I know I shouldn't be rooting for rain. But these clear skies are not going to... Uh, they're going to ruin our simillion again. And I still don't really know what the... Uh, with the correct, no idea what the oh, sunburn on the Simillion. No idea what the correct uh, numbers are for Simillion. And uh, it looks like I've pretty much ruined our uh, stuff. Can we get some rain? No, we can't. I have to harvest. And this is going to be terrible. So they've all got sunburn. <sighs> Not a great year for us guys, unfortunately. Look at that. Ugh, just terrible. All right, let's make the best we can out of it. We should should be able to, at least with our Chardonnay, we should be able to pull pull something uh, pull something out of this. But our Simillion, we have not been able to make. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong too. We've not been able to make a uh, a good variety of that yet. Oh well, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, all right, so decreases sweetness for our Chardonnay. We want to decrease it by four. So we have one, two, three, four. And I guess we, I don't know, let's do, do we want Simillion to be sweet? I don't know. I mean, it can't be any worse than we had last time, right? Uh, sure, let's try that. And we'll just let time go by. Don't think we have anything to be selling yet, do we? Oh, we do still have some bottles of the Chardonnay sitting around. So let's put those in our tavern. 300. Good. All right. So at least we've still got a little bit of income left. Uh, but it's a, you know, good thing I didn't buy that last plot of land yet because we, we might end up running out of money before, because we still have to pay to bottle this stuff too. And that's going to be fairly expensive. Although we can do it in... You know, we can do it a little bit at a time. Does it continue to age and stuff if you leave it in the bottles? I don't think it did. I think once you bottle it, it maintains those attributes, right? Seemed like that was what happened when we did that earlier. All right, let's uh, uh, press these. So for our Chardonnay, we want to get up to... Let's see, this would get us to a 6. That would get us to a 7. To, so I want to get up to a nine, and with our Simillion, let's just go all the way. Um, that's fine. Begin. And now, the real test: steel barrels. Oh, that's right. Should I increase the acidity too much? Because it only goes it goes one and three in this case. Well, dang. Um, but it is what it is, you know. All right, and same here. So this one's not going to be very good at all. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens in 
February, I guess. We'll check it back in January. But yeah, it's February when we'll be able to actually bottle this stuff up. So we've still got a little bit to sell, but that's it. And then we're going to be running on reserves after that. I guess we could take a loan or something. That seems like we're going to be okay financially. All right, let's take a look at oh, both sunburn. That's terrible, just terrible. Oh, well. As long as we can get through another year, next year's harvest, that's going to be the one, right? I know I've said that like three years in a row now. Okay. Uh, oh, complex. Nice, but still sunburnt. Um, seven, six, four, six. That does not look good for that one, I'll be honest. Um, we are going to have our, uh, we're going to have the low rated reviewers review these things. There we go. Bottles, organized tasting. Hey, one star friends. What do you guys think? Ah, you think it's a four star. Well, I fooled you. And with our Similian, who knows? Three stars. Okay, so still not very good. All right. Um, but better? Question mark. Um, we have a lot of this one and not as much of this one. So let's sell some of this one to our friends at Manhattan Cellars. There we go. Sell. Close. Close. Tavern. We're going to sell 600 of those and clear that out if we can. And we're not going to be entering any contests this year. But I think we can afford to add this tile just so we can lock it down. But I'm not going to plant anything on any of these tiles. We're going to leave them bare. Uh, this is a good way to start the year off with a little bit of ripeness and um, uh oh a neighboring estate has expressed their interest in buying our tiles um, no thank you I wonder if I am going to be able to fight them off or if they're going to uh, like force their way into me or uh, into buying my stuff up or something and we're going to end up losing our estate alright let's get some rain I mean, that's not a bad way to start the year by getting the ripeness up, but we need some rain or else we're going to have a real disaster. Can I... Uh, I don't want to harvest. I want that. Optimize foliage. Nope, I don't want that. Fertilize vines. Is that the one? Immediately grow into heavy foliage. I need a state level three. Uh, yeah, that's too bad. So this would be a good one to have. But nothing I can do right now. But that definitely would allow us to control... Like, I could heavy foliage all these guys. Can't believe we're going to have a year with no rain. There we go. Thank you. A little bit of rain. Maybe we can cool these guys down. use some uh, some uh, no actually you know what that's fine keep keep stay cloudy and keep the uh, leaf coverage that we have but even even a little more rain to get a heavier cover so they could drop a bit might not be so bad but you know it's like this year might actually turn out all right gonna do some trimming here. I don't want to drop too far. We'll see what uh, September brings, but I'm probably going to uh, just harvest. Let's just harvest at a five. We'll call it good. Should be a pretty good yield, and we should have decent numbers across the board. There we go. I like that, and I like that. I just don't know what we're shooting for with the Similian, but I do know what we're shooting for with the Chardonnay. So that's good stuff. All right. Um, now, what does this do? Increases tannins by three. So it's not so bad, but we would have to pay to unlock it, and then we wouldn't really have any money for our uh, 
wouldn't really have any money for our uh, bottling. So we're going to stick with the standard method for now. And um, do I have bottles to that I should be trying to sell? You're trying to you're waiting to sell 180 bottles, so we're gonna hold off on that. Next month, we can add some more in. There we go. All right. So decreases sweetness by one. We do not want to decrease sweetness with that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the sweetness at six on this one. I'm honestly I'm not sure. So let's leave that to ferment. And we're not really going to be able to do anything with the acidity. So I want to increase the acidity on this one by one. And the Sumilian, I just have no idea. I'm not going to increase it at all. And we're going to call that good. And then the bottling, stainless steel and stainless steel. And pretty sure I'm just going to bottle these right off without any waiting. Definitely the Chardonnay. Um, we're going to put it in there. And a cork, yes. And 33 bottles, that's a lot. Now, I, I didn't even look to see if I... Uh, if we... If we uh, I want to see what kind of grapes these are. And I can't see without being able to buy them. Are they... I feel like they were golden, weren't they? So have I been bottling them in the wrong type of bottle? Should I be bottling these in a yellow bottle? Probably. Probably been doing it wrong the whole time. All right. Let's... Oh. Oh, I'm still sitting on that Greenhagen Chardonnay. All right. Here's our new one. And this one's good, so we're going to give it to the excellent reviewers. There we are. And uh, the Similian, we have no idea how it is, so we're going to give that one to the amateurs. And let them decide. Ugh, zero stars. Uh, everything is too high on that. So that's not so great. Um, let's get some of the stuff sold. So here we're going to send 2,772 to that one. Very good. Now it'll get us up to five stars. And we'll sell the crappy stuff at our tavern. Um, I don't mind at all. Uh, we can sell um, 480. There we go. Great. And that'll help us keep some money coming in, which means we can afford to put in another uh, vin whatever, plant some more vines. Oh, but we got to wait till February to do that. But we can't buy any more plots, and all of the land is taken up with our competition. And uh, hmm, maybe we can't afford to uh, to plant anything. If we go to the store here, about 1,100, 1,100, and 600. All right. Uh, that's right. I think we have a lot of stuff being sold. Um, yep. Still waiting to sell. Okay. Give it time. Be be a little more patient, Sean. You don't need to uh, don't need to sell it. Oh, there you go. Looks like we sold some because we have two hundred thousand dollars. But that. We're still not going to be able to sell any at the market. So hold off. Wait until next time our money jumps up dramatically. 200,000. Should jump up here. 290,000. Very good. That means we sold some. 1188. 1180. Let's sell this one. There we go. Oh, waiting to sell 924. All right. I take it back uh, close you down what things look like here waiting to sell 440 uh, so it doesn't tell me what it's waiting to sell 440 of that would be nice so I could put the other one in there and, and uh, or you know what I mean like fill it up top it off with the one that I already have in there uh, looks like another contest do I really want to Submit a wine. No, you know what? I don't. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to pass. I'm not going to submit any wines this year. Thank you, though. I appreciate. I appreciate the invitation. But we're a modest little country winery, and um, 
I don't think we can compete with the big boys right now. Probably could boost ourselves up to level 3 if we wanted to. Um, looking at our page here. Let's, uh, let's try to clear out this 2036. You know what? I think I might submit that 2037. There we go. 885. Sell. Close. Close. Let's do it. Let's submit our 2037. It takes 20 bottles, right? Yeah, we can do that. We can afford it. Yep, thank you. I don't need luck. I have skill. And excellent wine. All right, you want to buy my thing? I decline. No, thank you. And we're going to plant some more um, Sauvignon Blanc. No, dummy. We're going to plant some more Simillion. So it is yellow. Okay. And I do need to find out what a good way... You know what I mean. What kind of stuff should I be looking for in a Simillion wine? So we can get better scores because we have not gotten great scores. Let's take a look. So this Simillion got zero stars. This Simillion got three stars. Eight, eight, four, seven. And this one got zero. Five, six, six, six. So eight, eight, four, seven. So I want high acidity, high sweetness, low tannins. So maybe seven, seven. So I want to over-ripen this, but I don't want to get a sunburn on it. 774, maybe? Hmm. Curious. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. What I can do this year. Can I just, like, auto-decline? But we've got Plenty of both varieties planted. Got some rain coming in. Not bad. Because they've got a little bit of ripeness going on them. Let's see what April brings. April brings some clouds. That's fine. We can just let them sit at their current status without worrying. And there's some more rain. So we're going to start to trim these back. Try to trim them as evenly as we can. More clouds. Should be all right. Clear skies, good. So they're gonna all ripen up a little bit through the end of May and June. It's clear, so uh, hopefully this will dry up their rot. And should be okay unless we don't get any rain in which case the Simillion will still be okay actually we should be able to pull the Chardonnay out too because we probably won't get a sunburn seems like we're going to be alright with uh, but I do want that Simillion to ripen up we'll see what August does because I want the Simillion to be. All right, so did we win our Chardonnay? We did, great, okay, so that's nice. All right, so, oh, they're still waiting to sell 300 bottles there. We can leave that alone. Clear skies will ripen up all of these guys a little more. Ah, and it got sunburnt anyways. Dang. Even with the modest amount of uh, of uh, foliage, huh? Still got sunburn. Let's see if we can get a little rain. There you go. Maybe that'll um, clear up the the sunburn features. It did. Great. Let's harvest before it's too late. All right. So, Simillion's not going to be very sweet, unfortunately. 
Oh, look at that. Somehow we ended up with the 10 sweetness. Okay, I'll take it. Um, they're not going to have the tenants, but we're going to invest in that pipe edge, whatever, the smashing thing. Uh, good numbers. I like them. Okay, so um, let's open up traditional crusher. And we're going to do that for both these guys. Get those tannins up. And let's uh, crush the grapes. Traditional and traditional. Very good. Okay, crush. I crush your grapes. And there we go. Now it's time for the fermentation. So I do not want to decrease the sweetness at all on our Chardonnay. But I do want to decrease it by two points, I think, on the Semillion. Semillion? I have no idea. How many times have I said that one, huh? Uh, we probably have some wine to sell here. Nope. Why are we not selling? Oh, because I'm trying to sell that Zero Star wine, isn't it? Alright, well, let's try to sell. We have uh, four, 380. There we go. Sell. Great. Alright. And our um, cellar is filling up. We're probably going to start running out of possible... Oh, no, we still have room for plenty more bottles. Let me take that back. It's award-winning wine right there. 788 bottles of that to sell, and then a lot of this garbage to sell. Might want to just get rid of it, selling it to... Uh... As a matter of fact, do we have... We don't have those guys at... Uh... But I can dump it off on, on these other people that I don't really care about. There we are. Nice. There we go. And then I will take this other one and we're going to sell that to our friends at Manhattan. 295, 221, whatever. Very good. All right. Keep our money coming in and clear our sellers out a little bit so we can get more bottles in there when, uh, when our next barrels come through. All right. So... We have eight tannins. We're going to go one month on this one. So we want to get our um, that up to seven. And here, if we go two months, we want to get this up to nine then, I think. Sure. Although, I don't know. Do we want the tannins that low? Maybe I want to get it up to eight. Wait a minute. If I get it up to 8, it'll drop it down to 7, right? And that'll drop the tannins down to 5. That'll drop the acidity down to 8. Okay, let's find out. We're going to we're gonna play around with that one and see what happens. But now it's barreling time. So we're going to go uh, stainless steel, stainless steel. All right, and we're going to leave this one in there for one month. And we're going to leave this one in there for one month. Okay, so in February, we're going to pull both of those, see how they turn out. Let's look at our, let's see, three, so we have, oh, no, I can't add any. Not much to do with those things right now. Let's see how things look in February. Oh, uh, they want to buy our property. I do not want to sell. We have, it's February. Um, do I want to plant a uh, yeah? Because we're gonna get our we're gonna get our uh, stuff coming in here. So we could do a Merlot, we could do a Pinot. I guess Pinot is the one that we want. So let's plant a, a Pinot. Very good. And don't blow all my cash. Um, uh, we were also going to look at our bottles here in February, right? Yep, this one looks good. And it's that one and that. Bottle it up. And this one also looks like it's going to turn out well. Who knows, but I'm guessing it might. Um, quiet timer. Let's find out how these are before we end our episode. So let's organize the tasting. You can be tasted by the experts. The five-star folks. Although, if we have it tasted by the... Because I still can't seem to manage to get a five-star wine out of these guys. Yeah. Hmm. All right, and um, our Similian, we're going to have the amateurs try this one out, help us figure out what we're doing wrong. Ah, much better. Okay, four stars. So still would have been terrible for the um, 
uh, terrible for the five star people, but pretty good for the one star people. Good. So uh, there's a good start with this year um, and a good way to end the episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate you being here, and I hope you'll join me again for the next episode. If you've enjoyed this one, you should click that like button. You should leave me a comment down in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We're having a good time, and uh, let's keep that fun going. I'll see you next time. Bye.